Hello and welcome to a new video about digital technology. Now we heard a lot about flip-flops and now we come to an application. We want to count something. Okay, so we want to count the number of, of rising edges, let's say. Yeah? Number of rising edges and how can this be achieved? Yeah? It can be achieved with flip-flops. I show you. Okay, so this is should be the counter value or the, the thing I've already prepared, I show you how this logic looks like. So basically, we have a chain of flip-flops. I will draw here now, now four. Here they are, four flip-flops. They do have, I call it now a T, a toggle input, an impulse input, yeah, this is a T input. With this input, those are toggling simply, yeah. With every rising edge, these flip-flops are toggling from one state to the other. So we have a Q and not Q, this is the main, always, this is the default position, Q, not Q, alright, and here we have the counter input, yeah, C, this is the signal we want to count, and let's say this is Q0, this is Q1, This is Q2 and this is Q3. Alright. Let's note it. Q0, Q1, Q2 and Q3. Now, with every rising edge, let's say this is the beginning. Yeah? With every rising edge, the first rising edge, took, this will change. Yeah? This will change. So the 1 goes from here to here and the 0 goes from here to here. So we have here at Q0 with the first rising edge, I have here a 1. Yeah? The others, well, since we don't know how they're connected, it's not connected. Yeah? The next rising edge will change. We have again here zero. Next rising edge will change. We have again here one. Okay, and so on. This is how this is working. Every rising edge will change the first flip flop. All right. And now to the next one. Yeah. We make it like this, we make here a connection, All right? What does it mean? What does it mean? Every time we switch back from here to here, yeah, from Q to not Q, so every this, yeah, we switch from 1 to 0, this flip-flop has a rising edge here, every time. Yeah? Every time it switches to 0, this has a rising edge and toggling. Yeah? So every time it is like this, yeah, we will toggle this one. What does it mean? Let's have a look. So here's zero. Yeah? Here we are switching from one to zero, one. Here is nothing changing because here we are switching again, toggle. 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 Here we are switching again, <laughs> Toggle. Here we're switching again. Toggle. Yeah? This is what happens to the second. Yeah? And now I make the same to the third. And again, every time I switch here from 1 to 0, the third one will toggle. Yeah? So here it has no reason to toggle. Here it has no reason to toggle. Here it has no reason to toggle. And here 1 to 0, toggling. Tuk, 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 tuk. 
One to zero talking. Tuk 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 tuk. One to zero talking. Next. Again. One to zero. Talk to the next one. So zero, zero, zero. Here, where is the one to zero? Here, toggle. Oh, now let's look. Have a look what is happening. Yeah. If this is binary coded, yeah, this would be. This would be. This is zero. This is one. This is two. This is three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. This thing is counting. This thing is counting. And now, what is with the rest? Well, we can bring it out again. It's some sort of overflow. Okay. So here we have the overflow. Overflow information. Maybe for the next digit. Okay. This is not all. Uh, this is not all. Because imagine we are counting to eight and then we want to say hello. Uh, we want to start again. Yeah. I don't want to count to 15 and then start at zero. Yeah? How to do this? Well, those things, they also have, uh, they also have static inputs. Yeah. They have static R's, S and R inputs. Yeah. And so S and R, static inputs. Overruling T input. Okay, and the T input. Dynamic toggle input. Mm -hmm. Dynamic toggle input. Uh, and with the static S and R inputs, I could do a reset line here. And with the reset, I could bring everything to zero. Okay, so I simply delete my my counter value. So I have here, yeah, tuck, 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 count delete. Yeah. This is how this is working. So why is this called asynchronous? Asynchronous is called because one element is switching the next. Not all elements are switching at the same time. Right, what this implies, we will hear in a later video. But this is how this is working. It's working exactly like like uh, the numbering system itself, binary number system. If we are out of options, use the next one. If we are out of options, use the next one. If we are out of options, use the next one. If we are out of options, we, we would use the next one with the overflow. Yeah? This is working exactly like the numbering system itself. Yeah. Asynchronous counter upwards. Next time we're going to talk about how we can change this uh, by how we can change this and, and see how we can count down. Yeah. So we count from something, we can count down. Final countdown. Yeah. For this time. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.